Hi, Dr. Scott Beyer again, and I'm making this video to inform you guys, or at least those with, uh, who've been diagnosed with an autoimmune condition, about a really important nerve in our body and a really hot topic in research right now, and that is our vagus nerve, okay? And our vagus nerve is a nerve that uh, originates on the lower portion of our brain stem, so our medulla here, and it goes out, and in Latin, the word vagus literally means wanderer, and uh, it does just that. So it goes out and it wanders down into our abdominal cavity and uh, our vagus nerve is a portion of our nervous system called the autonomic nervous system which is in charge of a lot of things that we don't think about like our heart rate and rhythm um, our gastric you know acid secretion other enzyme secretion GI motility and flow as well as uh, it innervates a lot of our uh, our spleen and the biggest thing with autoimmune conditions is that not only does this innervate our gut where about 70 to 80 percent of our immune system resides but it also innervates uh, uh, our, our spleen and what it does is that they find that if you're able to activate or call upon this nerve um, what it will, will release is a certain neurotransmitter called acetylcholine okay and what acetylcholine uh, does is it will tell certain cells like uh, macrophages and other immune system cells to deactivate okay and thus it, it reduces total body immune system activation as well as reduces total body inflammation and what they're finding is that those with autoimmune conditions because at their core their, the immune system becomes so hypersensitive that it's attacking its own body. What they're finding in a, few, uh, a couple clinical trials is that when they uh, stick an implant to activate this vagus nerve, it completely obliterates symptoms of rheumatoid arthritis, symptoms of psoriasis, uh, and I think the other one was lupus as well. Well, we know that you can actually at call upon this nerve in ways where you don't have to actually uh, do some invasive surgery to stick an implantation in there. There are things that we can do in our office that involve sensory uh, info on the inner ear, um, as well as working with some of the, the uh, palatal muscles in the back of the throat that call upon this nerve and can actually decrease our body's uh, levels of inflammation and whatnot. And I get people asked, well, how does this nerve become out of shape? And you have to realize that this nerve gets turned off under periods of stress, okay? So when it comes to our autonomic nervous system, on one end we have our parasympathetic, which is like our rest, digest, and repair, and on our other end we have our sympathetic, which is like our, our stress nervous system. They call it our fight or flight. And when one is high, the other is, is deactivated. So when we're under stress or our body is chronically sick and whatnot, this nerve tends to be a little bit more shut off. Okay, so there are certain things that you can do to activate that and then we find that when that nerve is really really healthy the body the patient's total inflammatory levels go down. If you guys found this interesting, really encourage you guys to like our page. We're constantly posting videos like this. Um, we've gotten people all the time saying, hey, you know, I love watching your videos. Um, if, you have, if you are in the area, if you're in the Chicagoland area and you've been diagnosed with an autoimmune condition and you want to find out more, we about maybe once every month or so, we hold an autoimmune workshop at our clinic here. Look at our events page on Facebook at the beginning of the month to find out the, the next upcoming one. I'm Dr. Scott Byer. I hope you guys really enjoyed this. We enjoy posting these videos. Have a wonderful day.